What you guys doing, huh? Well, good morning. And here we are again with the continuing Gravely Saga. As you know, if you watched video one, we had a little explosion of the engine where the cylinder... Well, it wasn't really the cylinder at first. This is the cylinder. And as you can see, the cylinder is pretty bashed apart. But the rod, right there, is what went first. And it just... I don't know, it broke? <laughs> and turned into a bunch of metal pieces in the engine. And believe it or not, the engine still ran. It uh, ran for a good long time <laughs> on one cylinder. You know, because obviously this cylinder was not moving. The good cylinder was still moving, and uh, even on one cylinder, the thing was able to get around. Not get around well, of course, but it, it got around. And uh, the point when it broke, I mean, it, everything was pretty much over. This this had to happen regardless. So, uh, this looks a lot like the video I just did uh, recently, video one. However, what I've done here is this cam is the good cam. This cam was taken out of that engine over there. That was the original engine. This is the replacement engine that I got. I was able to find a shop in the area that had, uh, believe it or not, sitting in their back room. They said, hey, well, you know, somebody never picked this up, so we'll sell it to you for uh, 100 bucks or whatever. The, I think it was $100. No big deal. But So this camshaft is the new one, and this one is the old one. And depending on how this camera is making it show up, you can see the teeth are missing from about a third of this. Glad you guys are so interested in uh, mechanics here, the <laughs> dogs. But, um, so I replaced this camshaft out, or cam, and you can see up, oops, up in here, this little plastic gear, I don't even really know what the hell that does, but these, this spins, and I'm guessing that the centrifugal force of this thing spinning makes these little arms go out. And these little arms going out pushes that little thing up. And that little thing makes that lever go back and forth. And I don't even know what the hell it does. I think it's a, it's a throttle control of some sort. But anyway, so that you can see is destroyed. And obviously it's plastic. Plastic versus metal. Metal's always going to win. But... I can't, the only thing that concerns me is that I can't figure out why that cam just, just exploded in the first place. And I don't know if it's an age issue, maybe the plastic one went first, I, who knows. But I'm putting all this stuff back together. I'm using the original, uh, from this engine, I'm using the original uh, pistons and rods and the, uh, I guess, the main crankshaft. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's not going to do the same thing and explode all over again because I've gone through a hell of a lot of effort and time trying to get this thing working. But what I did yesterday was I took a razor blade to the seam here where it's going to join up with the second half and I've tried to get most of the old sealant out to make a nice uh, clean seal. I've also, you know, sprayed it a countless number of times with, uh, with some brake cleaner to hopefully, you know, dry it out and get any oil, uh, residual oil off of it. And I'm going to do it a couple more times before I put it back together because you want to, I'm going to put the sealant all around the, the edge here, all around the perimeter, just a nice fine bead. And then this is part number two. This is the second half. And... This matches up with the first half, and I did the same thing to this. I did the seams, made sure the seams are nice and clean, sprayed it a million times with brake cleaner. Um, it looks looks pretty good. And again, I am far from an expert on this. I just happen to have a couple tools that fit and figured I'd give it a shot. This is our fuel pump. You can see that, that camshaft. This camshaft, when it spins, actuates this fuel pump, okay, and it makes it pump the fuel from the fuel tank into the engine. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it's it's almost it's like genius at the same time. It's amazing that our little monkey minds could come up with this. Um, 
and it really hasn't changed much since the invention of, you know, the engine. But I'm just hoping that this particular engine goes back together and runs. So within the next uh, day or so, I'm getting close. It's taken many, many, many days to get here, but uh, hopefully I will have this back together very shortly, the next uh, next couple days. And again, I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm doing it correctly, in the right order. If I'm sure anyone who's a mechanic who's watching this is probably screaming at the screen going, you idiot, what are you doing that for? And I don't know. It's because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just giving it a shot. So, look forward to the next update.